What's up, everybody? Gibson's Lawn Service checking back in with another one. Had to drop my child off to school. She missed the bus and I overslept. <clears throat> look, it's this. Look, I've been watching. Look, I, I'm on TikTok, right? And this is what I've seen on TikTok. And this is what I noticed in. Look, I watch different business owners on uh, YouTube, uh, typically service based business owners. And this is what I realized. And I was, it, and I kind of noticed this with lawn care. Everybody, they do the same exact thing. And here's what I mean. They start a channel. They start documenting their journey. And it takes something in you to start a YouTube channel, stick a camera in your face, start talking, and creating your journey, right? But they all do the same thing. They do. They start putting content out. Boom. Everybody start, you know, they liking their content, subscribing. Then once they get so many subscribers, they'll do a giveaway. They always do this. They'll do a giveaway. All right. Do the, boom. Do the giveaway. Do the giveaway. Then as time go on, they still posting. They still posting. Some guys will fall off. Some will continue to post. And then some, and then some guys will kind of stand out in the industry. And... A, brand, a certain brand will reach out. Hey, man, we want to uh, give you this new weedy that we came out with. Uh, give us your honest opinion on it. Now, for the company that's giving the weed eater out, it's a money grab. Because everybody... Let, I'm just going to use myself as an example. Because if you call somebody else's name, people are kind of getting their feelings. So they be like, oh, man, we've been watching Gibson's Lawn Service. Your channel came across my desk. Uh, you have good content, and I see people really... I'm reading the comments, and some of the guys are really taking your advice. So, Gibson, we're going to send you this um, Silverback 2000 string trimmer we just came out with and give us your honest opinion, a.k.a. I need your followers to go buy the string trimmer so I can make money. It's a money grab. It's business, all right? And then I get on there. Man, this thing is so light. It's light. It's comfortable. And I don't even have to squeeze the trigger hard. And man, this, you guys, listen, y'all need to go buy this thing. And Silverback will say, Gibson, tell them to use Gibson is awesome and we'll give them 10% off. Y look, y'all go use promo code Gibson is awesome. Y'all can get 10% off. All right. Then later on, you'll see me with a jacket. Man, then uh, Brown's way. Hey, send that guy a jacket. This look like it's cold down there. I want his followers to buy our jacket. Y'all look, man. Y'all go buy this jacket, man. It's a hoodie. It's thin, breathable. It keeps me warm. I can move around in it. And they got a 30-day money-back uh, buyback guarantee. Use Gibson is awesome. All right. And it goes like that. It goes like that, right? Then, as time progresses, you start getting bigger brands. And honestly, like when you start doing that, in a sense, you will become kind of, how do I say this without sounding crazy? If Silverback, to reach out and say, hey, Gibson, we're going to give you two brand new 52-inch uh, mowers with 38 horsepower engines. Because we look, they ain't going to tell you this. We looked at our books and everybody is using Gibson is awesome. So if we give you these mowers, we'll have these guys running out buying mowers. 10% off ain't real. 10% off on a $400 trim is $40. It's not. It's not. You're not saving any money. So then send me these two free mowers. I'm running these mowers. Now, it's the lick on my end. Because, man, I ain't got to buy no zero turns. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting free mowers, so it's all profitable. But, in a sense... Gibson, you work for us now. Well, what you mean? Look, we're throwing this event down here in Florida from uh, October the 5th through October the 10th. We want you to be there. In other words, you better be there. We give you these mowers. So in a sense, you better drop everything. You better make sure your schedule clear to be down here October the 5th through the 10th. You want to keep getting this free stuff. So then I'm shutting down whatever I'm doing. I'm flying down there. I'm going to look at this. I'm, I'm on YouTube. I'm promoting it. That's cool if that's what you want to do. But in a sense, you become tied into that company. I can't make a video. I can't make a video 
about this skag b ride well, what you mean because it'll look it won't look good with your followers that's like me running for president and i'm married but i'm on this little tea date with this hot young thing oh man we talking business no you ain't talking business hey man there silverback will call me hey man what you doing with a skag on your trailer Oh, man, I bought a skag, you know. Well, man, we've been giving you them free silverback mowers. Yeah, man, but I, 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 I like these. I like these skags, bro. They, they, they pretty cool. Hey, man, listen. Bro, you want to keep continuing getting these free mowers? We either take that skag video down or we letting you go. That's how that works when you get all that free stuff. There's nothing wrong with it if you're getting free stuff. But then your channel becomes, you're just promoting stuff. Promoting this, promoting that. Then you got the guys. Then you got the guys. I see this too. I don't, uh, see, I ain't getting free stuff. I buy all my stuff. All my stuff come from hard work in the grind. I don't need free stuff. Brands reach out all the time. I don't need nothing from them. Blah, blah, blah. Bro, just say you really want free stuff. I'm going to be honest. Xmark, give me a free mower. I'm rolling with it. Skag, give me a free mower. I'm rolling with it. But I'm not coming to your event. I'm still going to buy other equipment. Now, look, y'all already know I am a Skag V-Ride man when it comes to stand on mowers. When it comes to sit down mowers, give me that X Mark Laser Z all the way. I'm going to put what I want to put on this trailer. And another thing, just because you want to do this, don't mean everybody else want to do this. And I'm going to give you an example on that. It's, look, it's, I don't want to say no names. It's a guy on TikTok, right? He done a free giveaway. He gave a guy a mower, a trailer, a string trimmer, and a blower. Awesome. You done that because you wanted to do it. You done that because that's what you wanted to do. Awesome. But now he turned around and said, man, I got this old trailer I ain't using. Guys, let's help somebody out. Let's give them some free stuff. Nah, nah. Do it because you want to do it. Don't say, let's, let's, let's do it. Do it because you want to do it. And then you had guys... Well, man, I seen the money to get some free to, to replace the wood on the floor. Another guy, man, I seen I seen the money to buy the paint. That's cute. That's cool. We come together as a community to do that. But don't stick a camera up and say, "Hey, y'all need to help me do this." Because he was saying, "Let's reach out to the brands and the brands. Let's see what brands sent us a free mower." Now it's this one company trying to get their business popping. Hey, man, we. This one company sent them a blow, some two blowers, two weed eaters, a push mower, because they're trying to get their brand seen. So yeah, we're gonna send you this free stuff. But once we get our brand seen, we're not sending you free nothing. Get it out the mud. That would be wanting to tell you, get it out the mud. We ain't sending you nothing. And that's how this stuff goes. Because he's looking for Skag or X Mart to send out a free mower. For what? We got guys like Gibson and everybody else that's willing to go down here and pay 10 grand for more. We're not sending no free more out. Like, look, and I don't be talking about this on camera. Something I always wanted to do is, with my business was sponsor little league teams in my area. You want to know why I want to sponsor the little league teams? Because it's coming from your heart. No, I want these parents to come to these games and see the back of them kids' shirt. Gibson's lawn service. Who is that? My name, my name is on the soccer kids jersey, the basketball kids jersey, the football kids jersey. I look, I remember this guy called me one time. He said, "Hey man, uh, I asked the phone, Gibson's Lawn Service." He said, "Hey, my name is Brent, and I'm down here at the tennis court, and uh, our kids are trying to have a tennis match, but it rained and we got puddles of water on the floor, and I was just wondering if if, if some of you guys can come out here with them backpack blowers and blow everything off." I said, yeah, man, I'd be on my way. You know why I, why I was doing that? I was doing that the way when I would have pulled up, me and my help would have blew that tennis tennis court off, and I'd have told him. Because he'd have been like, man, we'll be, oh, you. he tried to give me $24. Hey, man, look, do me a favor. Go on Google and leave me a five-star review. I could have got five or six people to do that. But you know what happened? Before I can get there, oh, somebody else beat you to it. Oh, really? So will I do it again? Heck, no, I ain't doing it again. You cannot expect somebody to do something because you want to do it. I can jump, scream, and shout, let's do a giveaway, but I'm expecting everybody else to send me the stuff for the giveaway. If you really want to do the giveaway, 
do it out your pocket. Don't expect somebody else to send you something to do a giveaway. It don't work like that. They do not work like that. And another thing, bro. I get people, people be feeling as though I be talking about having a full-time job is bad. No, it is not. Full-time job is awesome. I just want y'all to have another stream of income outside of that full-time job. It's like I told y'all. This full-time job I'm working, they had these two pipe welders drive 12 hours to this job to only work them for three to four days to lay them off. Instead of saying, man, look, we pay peanuts. We can't get nobody locally. So we're going to pay y'all this amount of money. Y'all think it's money. Y'all drive down here. Y'all complete this job and we lay y'all off. This same job I'm working at, they told all of the company hands, starting January the 1st, we will eliminate your 401k plan. We will eliminate your health care insurance. We will eliminate your vacation time and we will give you an extra $4 an hour. You think that's a place you want to stay 30, 40 years? These companies are not out to help you. These brands are only sending you free stuff to fatten their pockets. It's business. I'm only, I'm only financing the, I'm only sponsoring the Little League team, so my name could be on the back of the shirt so these people can say who would Gibson Law so ever call him. It's a money grab, it's business. The, the difference between me and everybody else, I'm honest enough to say it. Hey man, it's a money grab for me. I don't do free cuts anymore. There's a one point in time I done free cuts to get my name out there. I don't do free cuts no more. When I pull up, I want to get paid. It's a money grab. But I will take the money from all the cutting I have been doing and do other things. I do things in my personal life for people that I'm not going to bring to camera. And look, I don't do giveaways on the internet. I find a local kid in my area that's starting his own business. And I, I, I give the stuff to him. And I don't stick a camera in his face when I'm giving it to him either. Gibson's Lawn Service ring bells in Ocean Spring. Let me go. I got to go in here buy me some food for breakfast. I'm cooking. I'm not buying from fast food.